Welcome guys to another episode of NYU Garage. So today we have something actually different. Uh, I bet half of you guys probably don't even, even seen what we're going to show you today. Uh, and we'll tell you also about a little bit about ourselves and kind of even how we got here, like to this country we got here. Uh, we'll be taking this, so let's go for a ride. What's up everybody? It's Christian again from Not Your Everyday Garage. I'm with the team. I'm actually on the outside of this video today because this one is special. This goes back to the roots of Johnny and Lewis where I'm not involved whatsoever, but it's gonna be a really good experience and it's really cool to see, you know, something that really you, you wouldn't see in the United States, but they're here. And it's not gonna be what you expect. It's not gonna be your million dollar car from, from Britain or something. You gotta tell us what you were doing while we were hunting for the fat kitty? All right, yeah, so, all right, everybody. Hunting for something else. While you guys were, you know, <laughs> while the team was searching for the fat kitty, I was preoccupied down in Fort Lauderdale. I went on a vacation, I needed it. I got a little tan, I need to get closer to these guys. And now I'm back and I'm ready for some more videos. And I'm ready to shoot some cool stuff this week. So you gotta be prepared for what's to come. All right, guys, so we're gonna go into Artisan and we're gonna pick up some supplies that we'll be needing today for the purpose of this special video. Guys, do I have to go in with you? Yes. Damn it. You gotta pay for it too. Why do I need this? So I'll show you in a few minutes. So we'll give you guys a little hint. See if you guys maybe get it before the you guys see it later on the video. So we need to dilute it and it's a very little radiator and it's not a motorcycle, it's a car. So what do you guys think possibly could be? They're you know, never you gonna have get any it. gallons, like four gallons might be too much. They're so never gonna get it. Might be way too much. <laughs> They're never gonna get it. It's not fake, you never know. I would never get it. Maybe we have viewers from other countries. <laughs> we I don't know we're there yet, but if we do, then they might. Today's video is very special to me because it started 20 years ago when I got my first car and I was able to bring it recently to the US and we're gonna be working on it so it will be ready for the winter time. Today we're gonna to show some very special cars. To me, that these cars are actually the most special ones out of all of them. Uh, just because I got them when I was seven and that was really my first car. I started my car craziness with this one. So can't wait for you guys to see it. So let's go see it. What you're about to see these cars, I've never seen them before in person. I'm, I'm from America originally, born and raised here. I've never seen anything this small for an SUV, technically. It's a pickup. It's a, well, okay, pickup truck. It's the smallest pickup truck you're ever gonna see. So guys, we don't know if it'll start or not. I haven't started in a couple of weeks. <laughs> you mean more like a couple of months. <laughs> Oh, the bar is there. Don't even try it, dude, it's gonna... So, it's dead. So what we're gonna do is, the next best thing, push it. Of course it's dead, that would be our luck. <laughs> All right, you, you, guys you wanna film? So I can help him out? Hold, John, hold on, hold on. You gotta steer it. The other way. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Look, so I don't need your help. Be careful in venting then. You usually, okay, then put it a straight on. A straight, hot, slow, slow. Straight on, straight. John, you can't see what you're doing? No. A straight. All right, straight, straight, right now, straight. Leave it straight. 
That's it. You don't need to take it out. You don't take it out? No, because then you got to push it back in. So guys, this is the car I was talking about before. It's so special to me. It's a 1976 Datsun. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't able to start. It's kind of expected. We'll do actually a video next. Comment in the section below if you're interested. Uh, please, so we'll see. But this is Love My Life right here. Uh, it's very special, like I said. And it's so special because you know it was my first car, but you don't really see them. Especially here in the US, they're not exported here. They stayed in South America and Japan. So you guys can actually see. This is how they used to do it back in the day. Uh, four cylinder, 1200cc. So basically a motorcycle. Still aftermarket, like everything else that I know. It's custom. Uh, old school Porsches used to have that. Actually, it's called a, instead of your double car carburetor, it's actually a weaver. You can actually see if uh, you can focus in. There you go, it focus good. No. Back it up. This is the windshield washer fluid. Uh, Christian mentioned it does look like a, an IV bag it's poking out, feeds the car. So, before further ado, we'll get to working. shorter I, I couldn't reach the pedal so when I got the car I couldn't even drive it I could barely start it because I would literally be like laying pressing the clutch and, and the gas because you have to give it a little gas when you're like cranking it to start but uh, but it's here a lot of work a lot of paperwork but it's here Today, as I mentioned before, I was actually going to be changing this, actually putting antifreeze uh, because these cars are from Ecuador. Once again, for you guys that don't know, it's in South America, literally near the equator line, and they actually use water because it's hot all the time. They don't need antifreeze. I think we have to take one clamp out, and that should do. Done. Done. In case you're wondering, you have a 1976 that's it. it. Takes two liters. So you have to mix it. One liter of antifreeze, one liter of water. We're kind of scrambling around to the day right now. That's it. That's that's what you have. Done. Look how small that little car is. Yeah, so you have a baby tires. You get the, you see get those tires, guys? Pump 
Toyota 1000 1973. Uh, the beauty about this car is that everything is original, nothing is aftermarket. It has, I believe, around 50,000 original miles. I got it when I was nine years old, and I have it ever since. This is really special because it's completely different than your new car. It doesn't have disc brakes, it doesn't have ABS, it doesn't have power steering, uh, the motor is tiny, it's kind of like back in the day where you can actually work on your car. Everything is here, uh, there's no plastic covers anywhere, and that's what I really love about this car. And we, like I my brother explained it before, uh, because in Ecuador the temperature is between 55 and 75 degrees, where we used to live anyway which was uh, Cuenca, Ecuador. Uh, that's why it has water in the radiator instead of antifreeze. Uh, even though the car is gonna stay indoors and this garage will be heated. Uh. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Not Your Everyday Garage. Follow us on Instagram at NYE Garage and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. More to come. Stay tuned. NYE question number two, guys. This one's for Christian, actually. So. You know, yeah, you're in shape and everything. Yeah, we can see that. Uh, so that's obvious. So the question is, while you were in Miami with a bunch of his guys, which are actually all in shape and all that, was did you sleep Miami. with any girl or not? I was in Fort Lauderdale to correct you. That is not the question. Don't avoid the question. <laughs> did you sleep with a girl or I not? I did not sleep with any women. Really? That's really? such a lie. No, it is not a lie. And the reason why I didn't sleep with any women is because I'm very picky when I'm out. I just, I'm, I'm just a very picky person. And I just, if I don't see or feel a vibe, I'm not gonna, you know, so you're gonna, an effort in. You're gonna That's tell right. us right. that you went to uh, Fort Lauderdale, yeah. which usually has a oh, lot of hot women. Very, very, there's some very beautiful people out there, but again, I, you know, my head's not locked into, you know, I gotta go on this trip and I gotta sleep with a girl at some point during this trip because it's just, it, it's a lot of effort sometimes. and. You know, I'm not always about the effort. I got you. Right. You know, I'm on a vacation. I'm chilling. Relaxing. Okay. Yeah, I'm relaxing. You know, I'm not really. I'm not into Tinder. I'm not into Bumble. I'm not into these sites. Such a liar. You have Tinder in your phone. That's partially true. <laughs> no, I only. I, I, listen, listen. I only use. Well, me and my team only use Tinder a couple times just to get acquainted with the environment. <laughs> not for any specific purpose, though. We don't know that oh we, my god. Whatever. So, so it seems like we came to NYU question number three. <laughs> did you meet anybody? And if you did, you sleep with someone on Tinder? What the fuck's good here? As we have someone of our YouTube what? subscribers. Who's that? Very good. So, what was. Sorry, you gotta repeat question three. <laughs> I guess they saw us coming. <laughs> so, NYU question number three. Seems like we got two. So we know Christian was on Tinder and his buddies. Did you <laughs> meet way, anybody or deleted. slept with anybody app, on Tinder? The app gets deleted immediately after use. Did you or no, did you not? I have never met up with or slept with anybody from Tinder. So now that's a lie. No. <laughs> that being said, we'll continue. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, guys. So we're actually hold now. On. Why? Why? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> reverse, flip this. Hey, why am I being asked about Tinder when you both also have cell phones that have app abilities in? But we don't, have, no, Tinder. I don't have Tinder. Okay, so why is yours believable but mine's not? Because, because I, I see you with Tinder. Tinder. When? And you actually explain it to me how it works, the swipe right or left <laughs> and all that. When we went to the car show out there in, um, what it was, I think it was that Ferrari Concorso out there in Hartford. And you actually, yeah, you said, yeah, I kind of look at Tinder, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. But you, that's why I say you're such a liar. You have the, the, <laughs> uh, the my app phone. in your phone. <laughs> in phone. You, you want to go through the apps. I mean, you can go through the apps all day. It's not here. So what, you already was, uh, he, he met this hat girl. And that's like, we're going out of zone right there. Okay. He met this hat girl. It turned out to be a guy, and that was the end of the app. <laughs> No, is that what happened? That sounds like the truth. The app's purpose is to go to a region you're not acquainted with, 
and try to meet new people without having to, you know, you could do it in your hotel room. And that's all I did it for. And I didn't use it actually. And I ended up deleting it right after because I don't like it. I feel weird on it. I do. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll feel it's weird, weird. Too, like sleeping with a guy. I mean, but not, I, mean, I have anything against anything, but I'm just saying it's not my it, preference. Though. But right? think about it, right? Like, apparently, it's not his either. <laughs> you're, 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 you're either sitting on the shitter or you're waiting in line at somewhere, <laughs> and what are you doing besides on your phone? You're just swiping. There's nothing wrong with that, right? You're swiping. And, and then what? Happens I don't know. We will have to talk. You can we, get a diamond have... in the rough. You can. We will have to talk to a girl to get their perspective of what swiping well, right left means. There's going to be some. There's going to be some aggressive comments on this one. Probably. <laughs> and they're going to be geared towards me. But, you know, but again, for no reason. I haven't given any reason as to why I would be the Tinder creep.